Every era in human development is usually described by the material a human civilization is employing. So that was the stone or the copper or the iron. And then with the advent of the transistor, that was the silicon technology, which is the 20th century. And then perhaps 21st century or the next era will be the carbon era. We are after very fast electrons in the graphene layers. And in principle, nature allows us to have uh, fast electrons almost as fast as with the speed of light. So if we manage to do that, we'll have extremely fast devices. So what I do is materials. I develop new materials, nanoscale materials for fast electronics. What we want to have is uh, materials that work much better than the currently available materials. We try to optimize the material properties in a way that electrons can move much faster to enable uh, faster electronic devices like the terahertz processor. And uh, we also want to, to do that on a larger scale, to grow it on, uh, on large enough uh, substrate so it can be used for, for industrial applications. Uh, this is a silicon carbide substrate. Uh, this is what we use for the growth of graphene. Uh, we heat this substrate to very high temperatures and silicon starts to sublime or escape from the surface and then the remaining carbon atoms are arranging in a honeycomb lattice of graphene on top of this substrate. And then uh, once the material is grown, we characterize it with a variety of techniques. Optical techniques, mostly ellipsometry, so we work with ellipsometers that are in the visible and ultraviolet range, also infrared ellipsometers. And now once we build our terahertz ellipsometer, we'll be capable also of uh, probing the transport properties of the material using this uh, instrument as well. That's why we have designed and uh, start putting together this uh, nice, unique spectrometer that you see here. Well, the research we are doing is uh, really unique because the instrumentation we develop does not exist anywhere else in Europe. There is one more prototype in, in US and uh, the terahertz ellipsometer will allow us to, to access these properties and uh, optimize them. I mean, it's a unique equipment, so no one else has an instrument like that in Europe. So we hope that it will help us win the terahertz race soon. Well, every time we go into the lab, we hope to get a breakthrough, of course, otherwise we won't do it. But uh, we are uh, at the point where we have developed the material, and what we would like to do now is to transfer it to industry, to, to transfer it to real life. It will change uh, every everyday life in, in many senses. So if we manage to, to grow this material in an industrial viable way, on large scale, and make processors out of it, then those processors will work 1,000 times faster than current technology. So it's really exciting to know that you do uh, scientific work that has implications for real life and that can make life better. It will change uh, every everyday life in, in many senses.